and welcome to another unhinged episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We just left Athens. We finished everything there. Let's go back. Yeah. So we, like I said, I'm seeing everything. I'm doing everything. I'm going to every location. Everything's cleared out. The only thing we got left is like some mercenaries and um, the leader for a conquest battle. But I can't even do the conquest battle yet because the nation's power is still too high. Salvage. Uh oh shit. No, no, no. Uh, I was like that close. Where are they going? Are they gonna fight me or they're leaving? Fuck them. Let's go ahead and dock the ship. Can we dock it? Nope. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of these boats right quick. Why is it always three? There's always three fucking boats. Are they attacking now? It looks like they're fighting. Well, let's go ahead and take out these small ones right quick. They are fighting. Oh, shit. Go back around. Take them out. Oh, damn it, they're too fast. Come on, get him. Oh, we got him. Don't you run from this. Shit. Oh, yeah, that's it. Get him. Pull oh, that down. There's your fucking friend. Oh, that was life. So far, we're doing pretty good. I really have to upgrade your ship. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Line it up. Line it up. <laughs> Ran out of steam. Oh, they're fighting. Nice. Damn. Taking a lot of damage. Get his hands. Damn it. Fuck. Come on, dude. Take care of your for me. Alright, let's tag team. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. I get that time. Ah, oh, come on. Ran out of steam again. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, they're done. I'm glad I had some help. I just rammed the ass. I just rammed all hands dead. Alright, now let's go back to what we were doing. They should have left me alone. Now they're all dead. All hands lost dead sea. Damn, they got some more fighting going on. I think those are the pirates. The ones with the black sails. Or whatever it is, it's none of my business. Hurry up, get us the hell out of here before they decide to attack us. Finally, we made it. All right, we made it. This is, uh, I think this is Escape from Athens. Yeah, that's it. Look at my beautiful boat. It's good to see you alive and well, Phidias. And you, Phidias. 
As you can see, I didn't get here alone. Ah, yes. The kind and thoughtful hero you mentioned in your letter. I just met him. I'm glad I could get him out alive. And for that heroism, I found some information on a man named Brisson who's plotting Phidias' early demise. Hopefully you can make something of this group. I can. Please give Pericles my thanks and my farewell. And be careful. I still believe many in Athens are in danger. Yes, I will go That's back to Athens and save him. everyone. I'm to return to him and find out what these Athenians know about my mother. What? Now I gotta go back to Athens? Ooh, I'm level 21. Awesome. Uh... Yep, I gotta go back to Athens. Damn, that sucks. I come all the way down here and I gotta go back. Well, fuck that. I got side missions and stuff to do. So let's check out these areas and do some side missions. Ooh, I gotta unlock that fast travel. So we're gonna clear everything out in this location before we go back to uh, uh, Athens. Ah, oh, shit. My bad. Wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Now nah, I got to kill him. Damn it. Alright, that's he's gone. Nah, I doubt it. You have any idea how many people I've killed since I got here? Oh, you got a bounty on me? If I kill you, I don't have to worry about them damn mercenaries. Damn it. Move. There we go. <gasps> Look at the dog. I wonder if he was going to help me. And you're dead. Oh. You know what? Go to sleep. No! Not the dog. Where the hell is he coming from? He all late and shit. Damn it, I hate that move. Did you just stand behind that wall and watch me kill all these people? Aw. You know, once you hit somebody by accident, they automatically attack you. I wish you could shut the fuck up. This is your death. Jackass. This. This. All right. That's a treasure. I think I've already killed the captain. Burn that bitch. Another gap in the Athenian's control. All right, let's get the treasure and get out of here. Steal, swiper, no swiping. Is something wrong? There we go. And we are done. Adios. I've killed enough people. Check out the next location. We got blacksmith. I'm going to see if he got anything interesting. I also have to go back to that temple and, uh, what was it? Upgrade my spear. I killed a couple of cultists and I got some upgrades I got to do. Luckily, this is a small island, doesn't have that much here. Come on, what's the sweet spot? Show daddy. That's it. That's it. It only looks like it's one thing. 
Athens had like a shitload of stuff to do. So I'm just gonna walk in and take this. Wait, was that it? Yeah, there we go. That was simple. I wish everything was that damn easy. Let's check out the blacksmith, see what he got. Hopefully he has something interesting. Hey, how you doing? Good day. Good day to you. Oh, I got some money. Uh, well, the cool horses there. All that was like the lame shit. Done. Goodbye then. Later. That's all I need for right now. Let's unlock this fast travel. This place is a dump com compared to Athens. Ugh. I would hate to live here. <gasps> Ooh. It's not stealing if no one sees it. When do I get a temple named after me? Everyone else has a fucking temple. Zeus, Apollo, Athena. When everyone is gonna worship me? Take a look. Do you like what you see? It's so beautiful. Alright, where is the next location? Ooh, it's right there. Awesome. Uh, I wonder if it's gonna be like a cultist here. I have to check up on that and see where their asses are. I've killed like five. <gasps> Ooh, a cave. Nice. Okay, this is a small ass island. Shouldn't everyone know about this? Drop down. Oh wait, I forgot. Shit. There we go. <laughs> it's like everything only has one. The cave, the houses, they only have like one treasure. No, I do not need light. What the fuck? I think I do. What's with all these snakes? Ooh, something. Fuck you. Something nice in here. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, what was that? Something over there. What's this? I'm surprised there's not any damn lions or cougars or some shit down here. Oh, let's get out of here. This, this place is useless. All it needs is like a window. An uh, entertainment center. Oh. A boom box. You can have a party down here. You can have a rave down here. Get some mushrooms. Fucking have a good time. Damn, now I want some mushrooms. Shit. Alright, there we go. I got lost for a second. Freedom! Alright, where are we going to now? Let's fix my helmet. <laughs> Get to be ready for war. Okay, um, yeah, let's check this side mission out. See what that is. Come to me, my stallion. Wait. Where's my horse? You telling me I can't have my horse on this stupid ass island? What the fuck that chicken got? Why are those chickens attacking me? 
What the hell did I do to them? Oh, who am I fighting? What what is up with this fucking island? Why are all the animals attacking me? I didn't do anything. Fucking pig. Hopefully he can't follow me down. Is this wine? I can't talk to her. That stupid ass pig. Why is he attacking her? Does he not know it's me? There we go. <laughs> she died. <laughs> oh, hello, poor What's homeless girl. Doing in the clay pit? Oh, Mistios. Hi, Mistios. I'm just preparing something for my friends. I've been here all day, but I still need more clay. I need enough for all of them. The fuck is clay? What you're doing for your friends is very nice. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Really? You think so? I was thinking of getting them some other things, though. You're a generous friend. What do you want to give them? I want to give them some nice jewelry. <laughs> you mean jewelry? That's what I said. <laughs> you don't look like you could afford any, honestly. I know. That's why I was going to get some shiny stones in the abandoned mines and a few pearls from the lagoon. But I've been stuck here all day with the clay, and the abandoned mines are kinda scary. Do you think you could help me get some gifts for my friends? It'd make them happy, and that'll make me happy. I'll make some gooey for you too, for Gooey. helping me. Oh, I'll help you, you poor dumbass little homeless girl. You like how you, she's fucking said that. You look like you don't have any money. You look like you're poor. Gladly, young lady. I'll see to it you get the best pearls and shiny stones. And I wouldn't mind some jewelry myself. Yay! Thank you. You're really nice for a big, scary looking person. Damn. You little bitch. These pearls you talked about, where can I find them? North of the clay pits, in the lagoon. They're just sitting there in the water, but there are some big sharks in there. Be careful. Fucking sharks is always Where are these sharks. Abandoned mines with your shiny stones. The mine is in the meadow, west of the temple. I'll see what I can find. I probably just left Where there. Where are all your friends? They'll be coming soon, just a little longer. Speak up, child. I can't hear you. Never mind. I'll introduce you to them later. She don't have any okay, friends. That's all I need to know. I'll see you later. I should be done here soon. Meet me at the cliff overlooking the lagoon. Okay. I'll introduce you to my friends. Thanks, Mithios. Meet me at the cliff. God, what the fuck this little girl got going on? What? She, she's gonna kill me. As soon as I give her the, the, the kuiri, whatever the fuck she call it, she's gonna like, push me off the cliff. Her and her friends are gonna fucking, fucking kill me. These kids, what's wrong with these kids these days? It's always some sharks. This is the lagoon the little girl mentioned. Yep. A lagoon. Why is the shark even here? There's nothing in it for it to eat. This makes no sense. They just put a fucking shark here just cuz. Yep. Immediately they see me. At least there's only one. Is the blood gonna attract more sharks? Fuck, I'm gonna die. Get off of me! Shit. Heal. There we go. And you're dead, dumbass. What's down here? Something down here, I know it. Jaw honey, what the fuck? How jaw honey get down here? There we go. That was worth the trip. Oh shit, I'm running out of air. Hold up, man. I 
suffocating. There's something down there. Alright, get some air. I'm not done yet. There's something else down there. What is that? Come on. There we go. Ah, the mines. That's what the shiny stones are. I just left the damn mines. I'm pretty sure I got everything out of there. Where's my health bar? How do I know if I'm drowning or not? Fuck you, jellyfish. No one likes you. I hate you just as much as the sharks. <gasps> Damn! That looks cool. That's enough pearls. That weapon looked like it's strong as four. Oh man, I probably could have avoided the shark if I swam down there. Oh well, too late to worry about it now. Let's chase it! Hello, homeless people. There goes that pig. He's a dick. Ooh, wait. Nice. Come to me, Pegasus. We ride. We fly. We ride on children's wishes. Climate, stupid. Yep, this is the damn cave I just came out of. Oh wait, once again I forgot. Cause I'm stupid. Hold up, it's not gonna show me. Oh, maybe I just go in and get anything. idea what the hell I'm looking for. Icarus wanna be a bitch. And not show me anything. Alright, what the fuck am I looking for? More snakes. So that's one. Now I have to find the other one. Damn, I ain't got no damn shiny stones. Fuck you. That's what you get. I've got the pearls and the shiny stones. I should return to the little girl. Yeah, so she can push me off a cliff with her friends and steal everything that I got for her. Evil ass kids. I don't fucking trust them at all. And I could have sworn that shit wasn't in there the last time I was in this stupid ass cave. Waste of time. Come on, you can pick it up a little bit. Run! Alright, now where's this stupid girl at? Oh, sweet. I wanted to go there anyway. That works out perfectly. We're off. Yeah. All right, this is a cliff. 
Let's see what this girl is gonna do. I don't see nobody over here. It's just her. Mistyos, you made it just in time. My friends have finally arrived. I don't see anyone Shut else up. here but us. <laughs> what? Silly Mistyos, can't you see them? They're right over there. I knew this bitch was crazy. The one on the left is Theo, and the one on the right is Erla. They look friendly, but I don't think they really count as your friends. She fucking crazy. What do you mean? They're my friends. I made them. I know you made them, but that... Mother told me to make friends, Mistyos, and I did. This isn't the way to make friends. Tell your mother that... I can't! She's dead, Mistyos. Damn. Mother is dead. She joined the pirates. Told me she'll bring back so much drachmi. We could swim in it. But, but, but one day, she came back, Mistyos. Her favorite white robe was all red and she told me to take care of myself and make more friends but I've never had any friends I didn't know what she meant so I thought really really hard and made my friends out of clay did I make a mistake mother won't be upset at me right I didn't mean it I didn't mean it damn I should push off a cliff put out her misery no, child, no. You did great. Your mother would be proud of you. Friends come in all shapes and sizes. I have an eagle, and he's a close friend of mine. Wow, really? That's so cool. Here you go. Your gifts for your friends, as promised. Why don't you go put them on for them? I'm sure they'll like that. Thank you, Mistyos. You're the best. I'll go do that right now. Oh. I'm sorry, child. I could not break your heart, even if it was good for you. Well. Oh. I tried to kill her. Put out her misery. Because she is bad shit crazy. Whew. Poor little girl. Maybe I should have told her to, you know, fucking get a life. She's gonna spend the rest of her days playing with some damn clay. Ah, oh, well. Not my fucking problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll probably come back a little bit later. Talk to her. See if I can change her mind. Look, we already cleared just about everything on this damn map. See how fun it is? Luckily, um, it doesn't have that much to do here, so we finish this pretty quickly. What's this gonna be? Is this gonna be the pirates who took a mother away? Yeah. Oh, it is the pirate bay. Oh, what the fuck? The hell is this? A bobcat? Oh, come on. I am not trying to deal with great fucking animal kingdoms after me again. What? What is this shit? I got three animals after me now? Y'all motherfuckers. This works. Damn it. Fucking pig. Why does everyone want to fight me? Why do, how many times we got to go through this? Ooh, you dirty fucking pig. I think I think these boars are the, the thing I hate the most. I like all the other animals. It's just these fucking boars to get them on there. What you running away? You coming back? That was a bit much. Damn, I suck at that. I know that was a fucking hit. Come on, kill him. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Should've left me the fuck alone. Now your ass is bacon. Alright, so we got a captain. 
Where's the treasure at? Sweet spot. There we go. Well, oh, fuck. There's not that many people here. I can kill all of these jackasses. They're nothing. I'll kill bandit leader. What's the leader at? Oh, he must be right there. No, yeah, get the leader. Get the leader. All right, I'm out. See you later. That's all I needed. Bye. Sorry about your leader. Well, at least our opening's up. A position. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, they're catching on to us. We ride. Alright, this is the last location, the last mission on this island. Ooh, another cave. What the hell is going on in here? Push that bitch out the way. Move! I'm trying to see what's going on. I'll see you all at the selection ceremony, ladies. I especially hope. You show up. Damn, she fine. He's rich. That's Etios, the scion of the most influential family in chaos. And his wife choosing ceremony is tomorrow. <sighs> we need Eros' blessings to be picked. You hope to marry into riches. No. Go digger. My feelings are for Etios, not his wealth. Lying ass motherfucker. Even if your feelings for him are real, they get stronger with Rahmi. No! I really am in love with him. You better start praying like the rest of them. <laughs> no, I have to stand out. If I do what everyone else is doing, I'll never be picked by Eros or Etios. I need to do something. Anything. Anything. Yes. Ooh, anything. She <laughs> Eros? Please. His ears are stuffed full with the prattling of these women. Let me help. I'm a witch of Ikati, goddess of witchcraft and magic. I know just the thing. A love potion. Uh, love potion number nine. Ridiculous. Love potions are a myth. I'll buy it from you, please. Sell it to me. And don't let the others hear you. I don't need your drachmi. I spread the word of Egati freely. But a love potion is tailored to the imbiber. I have to make one just for you. And once you've drained every last drop of it down your pretty throat, you will exude pure, irresistible beauty. Aetios will fall in love with you instantly. First, we'll need two things. Oh, shit. A cask of the finest wine and some wild mushrooms. Uh, but where can I find that at such short notice? I'm sure the Mystios could procure these items for you. Yeah. Please, Mystios. Please, you've got to help me. In the name of love and a lot of Rahmi. Well, I'll give you all I've got. If Etios picks me, I'll be sure to give you even more. Ugh. You desperate ass. Fine. I'll get the ingredients for your love potion. The finest wine isn't much to go on. How will I get it? A shipment of expensive wine was lost in a shipwreck recently. Oh. Look around the wreckage in Pirate Bay and you'll find a cask or two. If it hasn't already been pillaged by pirates. It's beached on the west coast of the island. I fucking just left Where Pirates will I find Bay. Mushrooms? No, no. A new shipment of very special mushrooms has arrived at the customs warehouse. Fetch me some of those. That's all? I'll see to the items. Excellent. Meet us at the temple on the hilltop when you're done. Oh, why can't I just meet you here? Fuck. But what is this place? Oh, this is nice. I like that. I want someone to make a statue of me. 
Okay, so I have to loot the treasure, so I got to steal this. Hopefully no one to see that. Complete! <laughs> Thief level! Get the fuck out the way. Now where am I going? Uh. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to go back and kill those pirates that I left alive. Hopefully they won't remember me. Yep. The pirates haven't gotten here yet. Right behind all of them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kill all of them. Take the wine. Get drunk a little bit. Have a good time. They still looking for me? I was gone for a good while. Must be the shipwreck she was talking about. Well, let's do this. Sorry, I um, I got to leave again. Damn it. Yep, I got to kill everybody. I'm sorry, dogs. Normally, I don't believe in uh, fucking animal violence. Peter's gonna be pissed. Ooh, you motherfuckers. Alright, let's get this archer. Where are these motherfuckers at? So much for your victory, you're dead. Come over, get this ass with it. Mm, like that bitch. What's my name? You're getting killed by a woman. How embarrassing that has to be for you. Um, it's a little bit too late. Everyone's dead. You motherfucker. You know you're a bitch, right? You gonna hide up here? Found me? Motherfucker, I came up here to kill you. You suck as an archer. Man, I'm taking everything. I'm not in conflict. This is all the wine left. The looters stripped the shipwreck clean. All right, we're off to the next location. Should have killed them the first time I got here. And you didn't do anything, Pegasus. Fucking up here eating leaves. Useless horse. Let's go. We all forget to victory. Uh-oh. That was quick. That's the warehouse. The wild mushrooms will be in there somewhere. <laughs> it should be easy. I just killed everyone that was over here. Well, I guess I left one person alive. <laughs> ah, damn it, it's on the other side. Better get looking for those mushrooms. Yep, there's the dead bodies. Nobody cleaned up anything. This place is disgusting. How the fuck do I get up there? You always leave one person to tell your story. Got some true and wild mushrooms. That's all of it. I should go to the girl and the witch at the temple. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to that cave I was talking about earlier. Get these shrooms and have a party. That's the fuck I'm talking about. Have a good time. Get fucked up. Oh, damn. They right here. Nah, I'm. Oh, wait. They're over there. I'm pretty sure this is probably gonna just kill the girl or make her, like, crazy. I don't trust witches. Not since Hocus Pocus. Alright, there we go. Just a little bit further. Hello, 
the fuck are they talking about? Here's everything you asked for. <gasps> Thank you, Miss Dios. Now I just need a more personal artifact. The last ingredient. What, his penis? I've come this far, I'll see it through. What else do you need, witch? No, no. What I need, the girl can provide. I'll give you whatever you need to be with Etios. We we'll just need a little snip of your beautiful locks. Your part in this is done, Mistios. Come to the selection ceremony at Aetios' house to witness the fruits of your labor. It's Hell the yeah. one overlooking the sea. You've got to come. Once Etios picks me, I'll make sure to pay you your due. I hope he has deep pockets. His love didn't come cheap. Come. There's much left to do. See you at the ceremony, Mistios. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure something something's about to go down. I don't know if any love potion of the one you have to drink. I thought you're supposed to give it to the other person. Where the fuck is this location at? Hey, I'm lost. Where the hell I'm supposed to go to see this shit go down? Come on. I'm not seeing it on the map. Damn it, what's this fucking thing at? Spear. Yeah, there we go. Damn it, it still doesn't tell me what the fuck am I supposed to go? Okay, wait for the ceremony. The next night. The fuck? What the, what the hell am I supposed to do? This is stupid. What do I have to do? Switch the day, then switch it the night again. <laughs> this is dumb. There we go. <laughs> what was the point of that, really? They could have just did that for me. I guess it give you an opportunity to go do some other stuff, then come back. I'm not leaving this shit whole island to come back to it. I should have just married him, took his money, and then killed him. Then went on adventures. She took all her hair. Sorry, my love. Give me a moment. Some peasants need my attention. Damn. You said a little bit of her hair. Explain this. <laughs> Explain? It's clear, beautiful, gullible, idiot girl falls prey to her competition. She set me up. Etios picked her instead. <laughs> He didn't even take a second look at me. Damn. Why would you do such a thing? Aetios can be no one's but mine. I'm the one who truly loves him. I grew up with him. I've always been the one looking out for him. You think I'd let some starry-eyed fledgling after his wealth steal the love of my life from me? Aetios doesn't know what's good for him. He's been eyeing this one for a while now. <gasps> he liked the way she looked. So I changed that. <laughs> That's a bitch. What happened to the potion? Why, she drank it. And look, it worked wonderfully. <laughs> she added a lock of my hair to the potion and then made me drink it. I didn't feel anything strange at the time, but when I did, all my hair, it just began to fall off. She's still attractive. What trickery is this? You used her hair in a spell? A spell? Are you idiots? If only something so convenient existed. It's simple alchemy. With a little knowledge of poisonous local flora, anything is possible. And wild mushrooms are known to cause violent reactions. But honestly, I've never seen anyone go bald. Just a horrible rush at best. 
This went better than I expected. Oh. <laughs> Motherfucker. I was promised Rahmi. Just give it to me. I didn't sign up for any of this drama. Technically, the girl asked you for the items, not me. She's making fools of us both. Technically. Kill her, Mistios. You're crazy. You'll pay for this. She played the game and she lost. There's nothing to pay for. You believe she's innocent in all this? She tried to get ahead with magic. So spare me the hypocrisy. Just leave and take your bald friend with you. Please, Mistyos, do something. Damn! What should I do? Well, she didn't. I... There's a witch in our midst. What are you doing? The Mistyo speaks the truth. Look what she did to me. She poisoned me and made me hideous. Someone, please help. Ah, you watch your back, Mistyos. I'll have your head. Glory! Oh, what? Now she wants to fight? Ain't my problem. Bitch. They don't like. What? Why are you fighting me? What the fuck did I do? Let's just sit back and watch this. See how this plays out. You know what, motherfucker? Ain't nobody got time for you. Get your ass away from me. You know what? I'm, I'm sorry, but you got to die. Well, time to go. <laughs> well, that was fucked up. But don't nobody play me. And I, and I ain't get no money. I'll kill everybody in that damn room. Play that shit with me. You you gonna pay me something. You gonna pay me my motherfucking money. Alright, so everything is done. So let's get the hell out of here. So we gotta go back to Athens. Ain't no point in you jumping back on the boat. We'll just fast travel. What is the clue? Yeah, we'll fast travel over there. Now nah, I hope you got some good news for me. They gonna make me drive all the way. I mean, I said drive. They gonna make me fucking go all the way to that island and tr fucking come all the way back. Yeah, I'll kill his ass if he ain't. Wait, where am I going? Oh, there we go. Look at them nips. The fuck is she doing Cassandra, here? Cassandra, it's you. Phoebe. You said you weren't coming back to Kefalonia, so I decided to leave too. I said I wouldn't be coming back. But I don't remember saying you should leave. Well, here I am. <laughs> What's your parents? How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some draft me working for Marcos. So you paid someone Hello. to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe. I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. This is a badass kid. What the fuck? Girl, you're homeless. I can't you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So huh? you somehow work here for Pericles? No, for Aspasia. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry. I'll take care of them. We don't want to scare people in there. Uh, well... Fuck them. How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. 
I may have been the leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No. She asked me on her own. That was lucky. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I bet. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things? Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. If I find one fucking item missing, I'm killing you. You feel uncomfortable in this. Now you look Damn. like anyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. Oh, look, she's covered in scars. Right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. I kind of like it. She looks attractive. I like a woman with some flair to her. Even if she got a couple scars here and there. Scars give you character. As long as they're not on her face. Here, Cassandra, the mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus! Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're no different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will, if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. Oh, time to kill everybody. They may not look it. But this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongues. Bunch of weirdos. Ah, Sophocles and Everybidis, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every pedis. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question for him. So, Dunkin' Donuts or Krispy Kreme? Go! They'll probably kill each other. Uh... It looks more like a lover's quarrel to me. Hermipos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Prodagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Yo, those are some big-ass drink cups. I want some of them. If I go to the fucking party, I want one of those. I'm trying to get fucked up. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Are they ever going to do Where something with Cassandra's hair? Oh, he never attends his old parties. Which reminds me, what? there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, <laughs> always <laughs> appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. The fuck? Is he wearing a diaper? 
Yeah, I wonder what they're about to do. But stuff. <laughs> uh, let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. Fuck so, that. Tell me, what does a Mistios like you think of a party like this? Uh. This party could be fun. Alcibiades drinks like a Spartan. Maybe he fights like one too. If I could suggest anything, please don't start a fight or end one. Thank you, Herodotus. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your brother said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Me too. Me too. <gasps> Damn, don't I got enough quests already accepted? Shit, I got like 500 of them. All right, am I supposed to talk to people? And so it isn't the rich and powerful, but the gods. Nah, fuck them. What you got, old man? You back here doing masturbating? I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with every <laughs> Look at his mouth! What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! Spare me. I'm only looking for clues to help me find a Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Nah, it's working. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to Evripides. He's the second most worldly man here. That pediculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. Motherfucker. So we get him drunk and he talks. He sounds more Argive than Athenian. Impressive foreigner. Evipides is from Argos. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You'll need to pick the right wine for this task. Ugh. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when Evipides is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. I bet. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I am the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to Evripides, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on, and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. <laughs> you're awfully worked up over Evripides. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, Evripides and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with a banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. I'll get the one. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Come over here, stupid. I need to make some wine. So I'm trying to get that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? I've come to get your finest dry wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. Well, fuck you. I should knock some. Yeah. Bam. I stole your stuff. Tell me get out your damn kitchen. What? what you got to say? A new face in Pericles' abode. Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the orange ape. Tell me, what does it think? Uh, I think you stupid. Did you just call me it? Watch your mouth, Athenian. 
It speaks. And so feisty, too. Sometimes I wonder if I'm doomed to be the only young and beautiful thing here. So, what do they call you? Cassandra. Hmm. I wouldn't peg you as a Cassandra. But never mind. I'm Aristophanes. And this man is... Everypidis. Oh, go on. Introduce yourself. I'm Everypidis. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old Everypidis likes to say. Don't you, Everypidis? When I need to relax, I start to fight. For you, though. Quickly! Bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. I'm Pericles' new servant. I'd be happy to bring some wine. An Athenian servant, you. And these are wine-pouring muscles. I was a rower on Pericles' ship, where he took pity on me. Now I pour wine for people who question my word. And his. I, I wasn't questioning. I... Perhaps one drink. Dionysos. Drink up. Drink up. And I hope I kill the other one this, in that blue dress. This is delicious. This is nectar of the gods. Another round. Damn right. How about some more? Get them fucked up. Where did you find this delicious wine? It must be Pericles' finest. You know what they say, good wine makes good friends. Who the hell says that? I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? Motherfucker. Ready for another? I hope I kill him. This is the best symposium I've been to in a while. Yep, you know he's what? gone. I like you. Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every piece, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know, it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she'd trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him hmm. for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. Yeah. I'll think about it. I want to shove my foot in your mouth and break your neck. Here I come. Right. <laughs> Ciao. My bad. I'm sorry. Ooh, what's in here? being hurt open this door or i'll kick it in is that dude fucking a goat oh, 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 don't mind her she likes to watch Ew. look at you such authority such aggression i can see why pericles has taken such an interest in you did you come to join us it sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. The fuck? Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. I only came to this symposium to find someone. 
Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Ew. Maybe they're in here. She's not in there. I think I'll check all the same. I come bearing gifts. Yay! I have the oil already. Saved. Today, these women grieved for their sons. What the hell are they gonna do these with men that? Men worked the wall, but tonight we forget all of that. Let's have some fun. What do you say? Care to join us? Time for some fun. You'll have to help me strip off these uncomfortable Athenian robes. Hey. Gladly. If you like, we can feed them to the goat. There's another goat? <laughs> you got to relax sometime. <laughs> Shit. Sounds like a good time, though. That was quick. Now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd uh, earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. Vietera? I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but... I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh, no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force. And the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Oh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again. Warrior. You nasty. And Susha in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. Don't need to burn them clothes. No telling what freaky shit went on in there. I'll <laughs> all in love. All right. So let's go back and talk to him. I got the information, dog. We got the bounce. How's every this? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every Pedis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Awesome. Drink up, bitch. Now where are we gonna go? <gasps> I'm level 22. I got two ability points. Hell yeah. Now how the hell do I get out of here? Oh. You just got here. You can't leave already. I'm done. What, what, I gotta talk to his ass again? What the fuck else he got to say? Being so new to Athens and gaining access to this oh, it's him. Museum is no small feat. Though you said there are things you wouldn't do, you gained Pericles' trust so quickly. I've made my choice. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? You have been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my attention. We're discussing the nature of rules. We're better to do so than here. 
I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasimachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient, and not the physician. Carpentry improves hmm. the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! <laughs> I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Hmm. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? You just said a general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men? What are you trying to say? I never tried to say anything. Fuck! But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I hate you, bitch. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. You're wasting your time. Aspasia. Ooh, who's this? She looks evil. She's up to something. How come no one's talking? Okay, that was weird. I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. <laughs> Damn right. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Oops. Your spies have been watching me. I knew you people couldn't be trusted. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. A little tight. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now and do it discreetly. I've been searching for a woman named Mirini, my mother. I think she may be in danger, and my search brought me here. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. <laughs> if you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Antusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Bet. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. Great. Now what the... F now how the hell am I supposed to get him to come down here? Sorry. 
so. Oh, there he is. What the hell are they doing behind this door? Cassandra! I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Bitch. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. I have no friends. They're your weakness. I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there's something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. Damn. Why send him a to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Aww. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Erodos was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to her, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm... Related to one of the cult members, and I believe him when he says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. He's dead. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. I got some good info. Are we done with this shit? Still not done? Oh, I can't jump. Who else I got to talk to now? It's a long ass conversation. I'm gonna fight, kill somebody. Okay, now it's time for us to go. You look tired. Only of conversation. Tell me about it. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need the weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? Kill some people. There is a woman in Corinth I'd like to talk to. I've heard about that place from Alcibiades. He says you don't go there to talk. Alcibiades says a lot of things. He sure does. So beautiful. I could live here for the rest of my life. Stop killing. Be an honest woman. Settle down. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. 
She says she has a mission for me. Uh oh. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Sure hope you don't die, Phoebe. I like you. You're my Hi, only Sandra. friend. A cultist clip. Awesome. Whew. That was fun. Nice party. She got fucked up. But uh, that's it. If you like, go ahead and like and subscribe for more content coming out. And hopefully I will see you next time.